All right, so I've created an object here called my many objects, and inside of that object, I've got uh, three other nested objects: key object one, key object two, and key object three. Each of those has a property with a value. This one's some string. This one here, ten, and uh, key object three has this here key boolean with the value of true. I can access these uh, using either dot or bracket notation and it kind of goes in order here in terms of the reference and so what I'm doing here is I'm referencing the object name of the containing object and then inside of that I'm referencing the first nested object and inside of there I'm grabbing the property key string and that value and so down here right below it I'm doing the same thing just using bracket notation and you can also mix this uh, using both dot and bracket notation to get the same result and so when I run this I'll see three separate instances with the same value being returned to me so some string some string and some string now I can also access this using a loop using the foreign loop so I'm going to say for var k in my many objects and I'm just going to alert out the value of k. So when I run this, it's going to return to me the name of the first nested object here, the key, and then it'll do the same thing on the next pass, return to me the next object name right here, and then the third one. I'm interested in grabbing the value though that's inside of the nested property. What I can do here is I can create another variable so I'll say bar d equals my many objects and I'll say k here and then I'll go ahead and create another for in loop to get into the next object the nested object so I'll say for bar p and d I'll run a check using has own property has own property and then here I'll go ahead and display that value so that now when I run this it's going to return to me some string and then the next one will be 10 and then the next one will be true. It's gone through all three of these and grabbed the value of the property within them. So I'll put that here. And that'll do it.